Welcome back to VRLA. We are here at the Pufferfish booth, even though there doesn't seem to be much of a booth. Yeah. Uh, or fish. We are here with Kevin. Uh, so, Kevin, go ahead and explain a little bit of what the Pufferfish display is and why it is so incredible to this new budding VR industry. Absolutely. So, this is a fully touch interactive spherical display. Uh, we can do any sort of manipulation with our hands, whether it's just rotating or tilting a 360 VR video, or maybe it's putting it into a game, um, adding some touch elements or multi-touch gestures. So really gives you the chance to drill in. You can use it as a menu, click a button to load up a specific video. In this case, we're looking at a nice VR uh, film piece put together by Experience 360. And this is Tokyo, right? Yeah, yeah, this is incredible to go ahead and see our, our content on this screen. And it's touch responsive. This yeah. is something that you don't see in any of the other kind of spherical projection systems. That's right. And it gives you a way to show people from the outside something that they can't see with a headset when they're walking by. So they see this, they get interested, they want to come and see what's going on. Then you offer them a headset and they can take part in your experience. So it's a really great way to draw them in. This is awesome. Now, what types of content can be shown on the Pufferfish displays? Are they certain types? Is it special? Does it have to be 360 or what? We can do any sort of video. We can put on native 16.9 and just replicate it so it splits and it goes both sides. Um, but 360 is easy because we just pop it on here with the file and it's immediately playback uh, ready. We don't have to do any changing, any manipulating. It's a standard equi rectangular MP4 MOV video file. This is so cool. All yeah. right, so is this the only display that Pufferfish makes, or is there other displays that you guys have? This is a midsize. We do 24-inch, 30. This is a 36-inch, and then we go all the way up to about 10 feet diameter. Wow. So big inflatable globes. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So yeah. uh, is there anything that you can share with us about maybe possibly new Pufferfish yeah. displays coming up? Or? Yeah, we've got a new 4K unit that's coming out, so that'll be double the resolution of this model. Um, and it's also double the brightness. So we're integrating that right now. It'll be a fun thing in another five or six months to get that all on the market. Awesome. Um, we're also doing more with live streaming. So you can set up a 360 camera at a show or out at a concert and then stream that, stream that real time to the globe and get an immediate uh, you know, way to watch it in 360. But with your friends around, you don't have to pass around a headset. You can all just watch it together. So Yeah, and that, that is so great, especially in events like VRLA here Absolutely. where people are walking by. They don't want to take the time to put on a headset. Yep. This is just incredible. Yep. Well, this is another one of the great products here at VRLA. Uh, there's a lot of incredible stuff that we're going to be seeing. Once again, we want to say thank you to Pufferfish and Kevin especially yeah. for the time. Kevin, right. thank you so much. Thanks, Ryan. And uh, we'll be seeing them again with lots of cool stuff in the future. That's right. Soon. Yeah.